January 1st, 2021. What a way to start the new year. Eating fresh, organic, homegrown, leafy greens. Okay, let's go to the front yard here. Let's see what we got. I planted a mixture of kale in here. So you got the Russian kale. It's got kind of like this purple stems. Um, but I've been picking off of this for the last month or so. As the leaves get to a certain size, I'll just simply break that off. A lot of times I'll just eat these raw right, right as I pick them. The fresher you can eat them, the better. Get a nice collection of these going. So I believe I have three different types. This is more of a curled kale. Let's see. I have some carrots that are intergrowing alongside of these, mixed in. A little bit of kale damage on that. Let's pick another one here. beautiful so far. So this is January 1st, 2021. But this is a great way to start your new year with fresh kale. Can't get much healthier. Boost your immune system. Really good for your eyesight. Now down here... Oh hey, there's my cat. He's checking it out. I don't think he likes kale. You don't like kale. Sometimes he'll eat lettuce. But down here I have garlic growing as well. Fresh garlic, which kind of grew by itself. That's the great thing about garlic is once you plant it once, it'll never stop, stop growing. So you'll have it year after year. So what happened is I just left these bulbs underground and they just grew by themselves. So look at all those shoots coming up. That's pretty amazing. Okay, let's get some more of this kale. Over here we have a mandarin. Let's see. Look how good this is doing right here. Some new fresh growth in the middle of the winter. Looking really healthy. Okay, over here we have some dinosaur kale. Let's go ahead and pick some of these. I have more in the other uh, part of my garden as well. So we want to take the biggest leaves from the outside So doing pretty good in the middle of the winter. I probably should let these grow a little more before I pick too many off. You want to try to get them a little bigger. Right here is a Moringa. Moringa Oliveira Superfood. I got to transplant that pretty soon. So far, so good. This is really healthy. Can make a salad. I have uh, in the front yard. I have lettuce and some other things. Let's go over there. So we'll head over to the front yard. Okay, not bad for those those two little containers over there. But I have more back here. Let's set these down. What I have here, this stuff is very interesting. It's like a, I'm not sure what it is because I planted so many things I kind of forgot. I think it's a masculine type of lettuce. It's got kind of an interesting flavor to it. Very spicy, hard to describe, but it adds a lot of flavor to your salad mix. 
you can see there's a lot of these here. Again, just what I'm gonna do is just pick from the outside some of the bigger leaves. Nope. We'll set those. I also have carrots growing in here, intermixed. So fresh greens, tons of fresh greens I can harvest all through the winter non-stop. I could be growing a lot more food in fact, but let's just get some of these. I'll probably make a salad today and uh, you want to eat these as fresh as you can possibly get them. We get a nice little selection here. So it's a good way to start your new year is just uh, your new year's resolution is to eat more healthy, eat more live, raw, organic fruits and vegetables, and just putting in the time that it takes to get these planted. So what, what I planted two months ago from seed are really paying off now. In the middle of the winter, this is my grocery store right here. No need to Go, and go to the grocery store and buy these packaged um, plants that have probably been chopped down days before. There's nothing like growing your own and having absolutely fresh, organic stuff at your fingertips. Just walk out your door and you just pick your food. This is how things are meant to be. That's a good amount. So if anybody in the comments section knows exactly what this is, I think it's some type of lettuce masculine, I think they call it. I planted like a mixed variety and I lost track. Oh wait, let me show you over here. But so far, look at this. That's looking pretty good. Let's go over here, I have some more kale. Now this is a curled kale. Just pick a little bit off each time. So let's add that one. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five different types of kale. Five varieties. That's so much nutrition right there. And just look at all the different textures and colors. And this one's got like a very flat leaf. This one right here, the uh, dinosaur kale. That long, wrinkly one. Um, these small one, that's the curled kale. The Russian red kale. Even though it doesn't look red, it's got purple. And I forget the name of this one. So far, that is a nice variety. Let's pick a few more. Look at this over here. Look at those colors. So this has got more of a blue, blue tint. Just love picking these, picking these kales. So you can see the difference in color. This one's, that one looks to be more green. This one's more of a blue. Let's put this one here. Let's grab another one. See, these are getting pretty big. Once they get to this size, I'm gonna pick those off. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Over here, this is bok choy, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna mix in the bok choy. Look at this over here. I've got tons of salad lettuce. Look how incredible that looks. So that's going to be added to this mix. Right here I have flowers. Lettuce going to seed. All those little fluffy like dandelion things right there. That's the seed pods. So I will be able to regrow this, this giant lettuce plant right here. So this has been here since the hottest part of the summer 
during those heat waves we had and it's still alive. Oh, look down here, a bunch of lettuces started. I think what happened is the seeds fell off of this plant onto into here and they actually regrew themselves. So that's the beauty of letting your stuff go to seed. Oh, we got one more giant kale. Check out this one. This one is like big as my head. Can you believe how big that is? I gotta pick that one. I'm not sure what type of kale this one is. Let's go ahead and get this. Wow, look at that. That is massive. Okay, this is gonna take up my entire plate. I should have put this on the bottom. I'll try to slide it under here. So you kind of create like a bouquet of kale. And I'm gonna eat this right away. I want pure nutrition. First day of the new year, eat a giant bowl of kale and mescaline here. It's got some spice to it. So, so far, one, two, three, four, five, six types of kale. Let's get one more leaf here. Uh, this, you want to eat this stuff fresh, too. Don't let it go for more than, like, a half hour. You want to eat this live, raw food. This is what's going to make you healthy. Look at these, all these little lettuces growing down here. Even a tomato plant. Look how healthy that one looks. So all those lettuces grew by themselves. They just literally fell off. What happened is I was harvesting the seeds and a lot of the seeds were falling on the ground. So as they fell, they just regrew themselves. We just had a big rain too, so that really helped a lot. Oh, look at this, more kale. This is a more of a blue kale, a lot smaller. I've not, not seen a lot of big leaves on this one. Um, not sure which one this which one this one is, but it is getting eaten a little bit by some of these kale worms, cabbage moth. Let's see if we can find a cabbage moth. But look at the blue color in this. Let's get a couple of these little ones. I'm not sure if this one looks like any of these other ones. I think that's a different variety. So you can see I've got a lot of stuff growing. This is another lettuce way up here. So that pretty much covers a lot of the uh, edible vegetables. Oh, I gotta harvest a lot of this. It's lettuce leaves, some of these are really big. I'm gonna get in here with the scissors. Wow, it's gonna be a big salad today. So, good way to start your new year, eating healthy, raw, organic vegetables straight from your garden. Look at that. So, I'm always picking from the outer parts of the plant every single time. Always look for the big leaf. You get those and you'll continually harvesting off your plants. You don't want to cut the entire plant down. And then always rinse your leaves as well. Sometimes there's will be some occasional insects. So we'll, we'll rinse all this as well. Look at the colors in there though. Isn't that beautiful? So this is kind of a two-hand operation to get these. That's a good little start though. Let's just Put some of these on the plate. Wow, this is just, look at that color, that color array right there. I'm not sure where to put these ones. Put them under here. Wow, so I can get a lot more of that lettuce as well. There you go, folks, right in the middle of the winter, January, January 1st, 2021. What a way to start the new year. 
eating fresh, organic, homegrown, leafy greens, extremely high in vitamins and minerals. In a time when everyone's worried about their health, yet people are eating processed junk food on a daily basis. Look over here, a lot of green beans as well. This thing's loaded. Or not green beans, this, this is snap. These are snap beans. So let's get some of those snap peas as well. Now these are called, um, this is a different type of pea. This is called a uh, Oregon snow pea. Let's get some of those. Oregon snow peas. And up here, these are snap peas. I've been eating probably 10 a day I'll pick off of this. These are kind of hard to pick with one hand, but... Carrots will be on their way. Some bok choy. And let's get some bok choy. Again, just picking from the outside. I don't typically put bok choy in a salad, but it doesn't hurt for a few pieces. All right, well, that's just about it. Down here, I got potatoes growing in the middle of the winter. Oh, and the last thing, we have potatoes, more potatoes in here. Potato plant, carrot, more carrots here. Eat raw, organic. Try to eat it as quick as you can after you pick it. You don't want to be putting this in the fridge. This is what it's all about right here. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.